Good morning, good morning, good morning. I don't know where I left off last night. I think I went to the casino. I don't know if that's the last thing you saw, but it's the next morning. So, um, and just to let you guys know, my Falcons won in crazy fashion. So to all my sports fans, Monday Night Football, Atlanta Falcons won in the end. We're one and one. So I represented well at Playmakers. All right, so today I wanna do some water sports. I do, I wanna do some water sports. It is what, it's almost 11. So I wanna do some water sports, maybe like the water slides. Um, I haven't eaten anything yet, so I do need to get either breakfast or lunch or brunch, whichever. And then we'll see what the day brings. But it's a sea day, so I am excited. We are on our way to Catalina Island, which is the first stop on this four-night journey here on Navigator of the Seas. Uh, so far, so good. One thing, my luggage did come super late last night. I almost had to call guest services and, and ask them, like, where is my luggage? But it came, but it came at like almost 8 p.m. And I'm like, wow, that's the latest my luggage has ever come. And I tipped my porter. <laughs> so I'm like, you better not have lost my luggage. But it came, it showed up, so that was good. Um, other than that, yeah, yesterday was fun. So today we're getting we're gonna get into some things. I do wanna see if I can ice skate. I don't know. I tried to see the ice skating show, but like I said, I last night i came back to the room and fell asleep so we're gonna try and do some ice skating today or and see the ice skating show i do want to see that i would do have reservations for jamie's italian i'm excited about that because i never had jamie's italian and so yeah i want to see how their italian food stacks up i love italian food um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, we're going to go see what's going on today and uh, let's go to the pool deck. Let's see what's happening. This is my uh, breakfast. This is my breakfast of champions. Just some uh, beans, some potatoes, eggs, and a little sausage. That's basically it. I'm going to eat this and then we're going to see what we're going to get into next. So I'm out here on the pool deck. Um, might try out some ice cream. I mean, why not? Get a little soft serve. Um, I'll do vanilla. Yes. Oh, you do? Yeah, vanilla. Thank you. We Chloe free. So I'm gonna try this ice cream. Full deck is crowded, has to be expected on a sea day. So, it is what it is. But I don't feel like crowded. All right, we're entering into the perfect storm. And it has like sound effects, like you're in a storm. The perfect storm is the sports deck here. Wow, it's loud. It's loud. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. Okay, so this is basically the sports deck. And so you have the water slides, basketball court, and then you have um they have a yeah they have a rock climbing wall as well so yeah these are the water slides now they have the longest water coaster at sea okay the only other water coaster they have is on 
on the ship is busy. And but this one on Navigator is longer than that one. So I'm gonna get on the water coaster at some point. I gotta try it. Hopefully today. They also have the flow rider back here. Flow rider is back here if you guys wanna hop on the flow rider, do some surfing or boogie boarding. Complimentary. Flowrider does require a waiver form, but definitely do it because it is so much fun. And this is just another view of the basketball court and the water slides here on the sports deck on Navigator of the Seas. So this is the Sweet Lounge, which is for your higher tier status, your, I guess your Diamond, Diamond Plus members, or if you're in a suite. And it's within the Cosmopolitan Lounge. I think it used to be called the Crown Lounge, but it's now called the Cosmopolitan Lounge and it's on deck 14. And this is where they also had the um, silent party. They have a bar in here and great views of the pool deck and the ocean. Here is Izumi, which is also on deck 14. And this is your, your Japanese cuisine. Now they normally have hibachi on other ships, but on this one, they do not have hibachi. So it's just the sit down restaurant, but it's really pretty in there. And the food is still good. Izumi is not my favorite restaurant for hibachi, uh, but it'll definitely do the trick if you've never had it on a ship. So definitely try it on Navigator of the Seas. Alright, so I made it to the bamboo room and I'm gonna get some drinks here at the tiki bar. Bamboo room. I was on this one on Mariner of the Seas. So I'm excited to be back here. They have a lot of interesting drinks, punch bowls and oh let me get you guys set up. Well they also have a Mai Tai. But you can only get those two things in both. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the bowls. We got the Royal Zombie, which is right here. How much it is? I have no idea. Oh, I don't know. Probably like $30. <laughs> 30 bucks. We'll see. But I'll show you when it comes out. Yeah, I presented it to me. <laughs> One of room is pretty nice though they have nice decor like I say it's like a tiki bar themed so it's really cute in here all the details on the wall like the tiki mask here they have some crazy like uh, artwork not crazy but they just have guys surfing with like old school stuff yeah. <laughs> they have nice pillows here. Oh, we have an announcement. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> this is Captain James 
Current position has us in the Pacific Ocean out here, sailing uh, west of Ensenada. We're about 48 miles to the west of that location, and uh, we're going to be hanging out here today before turning north and sailing back towards Catalina later this afternoon. Weather this afternoon and evening, uh, winds are going to continue out of the west at 12 knots or 14 miles an hour. Seas 3 to 4 feet, that's just over 1 meter. Present temperature right now, 20 degrees Fahrenheit, or sorry, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. There you go, and a 20 degrees Celsius. Um, overnight low tonight, 63 Fahrenheit, that's 17 Celsius. Sunset's going to take place this evening at 6.56 p.m. And it's going to rise tomorrow morning over us as we approach Catalina Island at 6.40 a.m. As for... <laughs> no, <laughs> stop lying. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, can I have a... Uh, can I have a pizza? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> can I have a uh, Coca-Cola? Yeah. Okay. Zero. Two zero. Yeah, yeah. This is, is the infamous punch bowl. We got the royal zombie. How, how much was it? Forty. Okay. Thirty. Thirty some. Thirty six maybe. What like thirty three for tax? For gratuity. So like thirty six dollars. Thirty-four. Okay, so like thirty-four dollars for this. So be prepared. <laughs> yeah, thirty-six dollars. But try it at least once. If you have somebody to help you drink it, if not just get a regular drink. But yeah, this is a Royal Zombie, and it has um, passion fruit, cinnamon syrup, pineapple juice. Platino rum, Platino rum, lime, bitter, so a blend of everything. We're gonna see how this tastes. I'm gonna do a little taste test for you guys. Okay. See how this tastes. Sweet, <laughs> definitely sweet, but good. A lot of ice in here. I'm gonna drink it before all the ice melts so it doesn't get watered down, but it's good. Very good. So I made it to Cafe Promenade to get a slice of pizza because I wanted to try it. This is a pepperoni. Now they don't have Sorrento's like as a separate pizza place. So the pizza is in Cafe Promenade, which they also have deli sandwiches and things of that nature and the pizza so i'm gonna try it see how it is so i tried my luck at the casino will of fortune that's the game i like i like fortune. um i didn't win too much but I got a drink. We'll try back again later. We'll try to win some money. I'm trying to win the 20 grand. I'm trying to win the 20 grand. So I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have a lot of success today. But that's fine. We'll try back again. I'm going to dust myself off and I will try again. Thank you. Okay. tried to do the water slides and I failed the blaster I wanted to do the blaster the water coaster took forever so another day we'll try another day because it's cold. it's a little chilly out I don't feel like waiting and standing in line another 20 minutes and I felt like they were cutting on and off the water coaster so we'll try again We'll try it again. But for right now, we're gonna find something else. 
okay i am in the room but i do have dinner at jamie's italian i'm excited it starts at 7 30 so i am finally dressed i'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek at my outfit of the night but yeah i have reservations at jamie's italian at 7 30 p.m so roughly in about uh about an hour or so so um I got ready early because I wanted to take pictures and all of that jazz. But here is my outfit. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you guys. So this is the um, mirror, anyways. So I don't know if you guys could really see it. It's good. Don't worry. I'm gonna get um, all kind of views. I got some gold shoes here, and it's orange and white, and it's very just cute and dainty. This is thanks to Sheen, okay? I like to look good on a budget. <laughs> but yeah, so this is Sheen. It's really cute. So this is what I'm, and today it's formal night. So this is what I'm wearing, okay? Yeah. So I'm excited. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to go and try this Jamie's Italian. Uh, I'm not really hungry. Literally, I have been eating not really all day, but I've had a few uh, I've, I've had a few bites to eat tonight uh, or today rather, and I'm not that hungry. But I am going to try it anyways to give you guys a review. I'm going to do a separate review of Jamie's Italian in a, in a different video just so you can get a more in-depth look at just Jamie's Italian. So look out for that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and head to the promenade or casino and just um, hang out and maybe take some photos before I go to dinner. So I will see you guys down there. This is my outfit of the night. You guys get a good view of it. So I got my headphones <coughs> and I'm going to dance a little bit, see how it is before we head on out to eat. But yeah, this is the um, Alpha Lounge. <laughs> Silent Hush Party. That was the saddest Silent Hush Party I've ever seen in the elevator. It was sad. I mean, celebrities hush parties are better than that. The song selection was pretty horrible, but it is what it is. I stayed. I bought my head a little bit, but now I'm going to go take some pictures. So let's see if I can get some good pictures for tonight before dinner. We got like 30 minutes left, so I'm going to go ahead and get some, some pictures. Thank <laughs> you. 
just waiting to take some pictures here. But it's pretty out, out here in um, Promenade on That's Navigator nice... of the Seas. It's really nice. I love these elevators here. These elevators are like, this is stuff that I miss on the newer class ships, on all class ships. They don't have the glass elevators anymore on the newer ships, but I'm just taking in the beauty here. And it's navigator of the sea. Jamie's Italian is an upcharge because it is a specialty restaurant and it is inside the Windjammer and as well as Chops Grill. It's Chops Grill and Jamie's Italian which are located inside the Windjammer. I had to try the wine, so I started off with a glass of Pinot Grigio, and it was delicious. So we did start with the meat plank, which had various meats like salami, things like that, cheese, and almost just like a charcuterie board. I had the tomato bruschetta, came with a lot of tomatoes on that bruschetta. It was okay. I did not finish it though. They also gave us some garlic bread, the ultimate garlic bread. That was good. The garlic bread was good. I also tried the Caesar salad. I love Caesar salads. Um, this one was not the best for me. I didn't particularly like this Caesar salad. So I did not finish that one at all. For my main course, I had the creamy penne carbonara. It just wasn't the best. He had the lamb chops, I think they were, and the linguine, shrimp linguine. And then we had a birthday celebration. All right. Hey. Joseph. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joseph. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. 
appreciate you can, you can it. Make your wish now. Yeah, yeah, make your wish. Oh, did you make your wish or blow out your candle? There you Yay. go. Yay! <laughs> wish you all the best, Mr. Joseph. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. <laughs> 33. No. Happy 21st. That's all I'm going to say to all of you. Right next up, do we have anyone celebrating um, any anniversaries on board? Woo! People think I'm giving away something free. I'm not. I'm just asking out of interest because we've got the Love and Marriage Game show coming up after this. So hang around for that. Have we got anybody there? Some maybe a family reunion, big family trip. Woo! Woo! Oh, it's a big family. It's just you. <laughs> Celebrating the family. <laughs> Thank you. The rest must be in bed on the casino. It's okay. But do we have any newlyweds? Any honeymooners? <laughs> and that's the reason the ship may have been rocking earlier. Yeah, okay, there you go. Anyway, on that note, if you do feel the ship is rocking, ladies and gentlemen, Chris's advice: please have an alcoholic beverage. Use the bar staff because you see the sober people like this. I'm serious. You see the people with the beverage package like this. They get their sea legs, it's true. And now my last question, who out there in the audience is celebrating a divorce? Yeah, one guy will be tomorrow, thank you. But thank you everybody for joining us on Navigator of the Seas for this uh, short cruise, okay? Do we have the gentleman that won the World Sexiest Man competition in the audience? Are you lying? No, we do have the sexy man. <laughs> Sex that that's not show here on Navigator of the Seas and it was good. It was good. I'm not going to say it was amazing, but it was your average, you know, show, production show, dancing and singing. And um, I, was, I was entertained. So I must say it was a, uh, it was cool. I'm on Navigator of the Seas, but dinner at Jamie's was okay. I was going to do a whole separate video on it, but no, I'm just going to give you my review right now. And like I said, Jamie's was all right. I'm not going to lie. I might have to put Cucina Del Capitano from Carnival, their Italian restaurant above Royals. So, I mean, like I said, it was okay. It wasn't anything to brag about. A few things I didn't care for, like their Caesar salad. Um, and it just wasn't a lot of other options that I kind of liked, but their bread was good. The, I had the carbonara, the pen, penne carbonara, and that was decent. That was good. But overall, I still would give the edge to, uh, Cucina del Capitano, but that's just my take. But, um, yeah, the production show was cool. It's about 10 p.m. I don't know what else I'm going to get into. Um, they do have a love and marriage show that I might pop in on. I do want to see what the club was looking like. You guys saw earlier the hush party, the silent party, which was mm, so. 
but the night is young. I might hit the casino as well. So we'll see what we get into. I don't know for sure everything, but um, the night is going good. It's going great. I'm having a ball. I'm having a great time. Anyways, yeah. So whatever I get into next is what you're going to see next. So let's go. Oh, I have a towel animal. Let me show you. Oh, he's cute. I don't know what it is. I think it might be a elephant or maybe not an elephant. Maybe it could be a, uh, I don't know, but he has my shades on. Um, and he has some eyes. Hello. Cute. Oh. Okay. So, with that being said, uh, I had to change into my flats because my heels were a no-go, especially with a few drinks in me. After that, I'm going to go ahead and see what we get into. Like I said, it could be the casino. It could be the love and marriage show it could be the nightclub later on not sure but what i am sure of is catalina island tomorrow morning so stay tuned for that 